It is another Sunday. We have completed another week of our motivation challenge where you were working on the letter G. How did you do in finding things to do or things to catch up on or um, let's see, what else? Just greetings out to people. How did you do with the letter G? I did somewhat better than I had with the letters E and F. So I challenged you to wake up every morning and look in the mirror, no matter how you looked, and remind yourself that you're gorgeous. Did you remember to do that? I do that really well when I'm at my mom's house because she has a picture, like one of those wooden um, pictures that are you know so popular right now that um, says you look gorgeous on it. And so I did stay um, a few days with her this last week. And I was reminded just from that each morning, like, oh yeah, we're supposed to be telling ourselves how gorgeous we are. Isn't it funny how we have to remind ourselves of that, where we should just be thinking that about ourselves. But society does not promote the humility of loving ourselves. So anyway, I hope that you did that this week and that uh, you feel gorgeous. Let's see, my G words for the week weren't really any task that I did. Um, I got gas <laughs> and I went to the Dollar General. <laughs> so that's kind of stretching it. I always like to see how I can take things that I've done during the week and stretch it just a little bit just for some humor. But uh, when I was at my mom's, we did decorate her house for Christmas and she's kind of in the process of weeding through her things. You know, you kind of get to that point where, you know, you're in a smaller home and you don't really have as much activity in your home on a normal basis, but especially during a year when we're in a pandemic where our families can't really come over and hang out. We are in such a restriction as far as how large a gathering can be. And that that limits just the impact of people coming in and how much do you decorate when you don't really have people coming around. So we all have different opinions about that. We haven't done anything yet because my husband is working from home and he basically has consumed the whole downstairs with his office and the chairs and the furniture have all been moved. So there really isn't a spot anymore for the Christmas tree. But I'm okay with that because I know that this is a temporary thing. Or at least you hope it is, right? If it becomes more permanent, then of course we would alter the household and, and make things you know fit better. Whether that's eliminating furniture or whatever. Just you know, making, making things work to please you. So I have a very positive perspective and that I know that this is, is a very temporary ordeal and I can get through with that. Do I miss my things? I do, but you know what? When it comes New Year's and I've got to take everything and put it away by then, I'm so tired. I'm like, oh, I put too much stuff out anyway. So are we ever really happy? <laughs> so something to work on. Anyway, with going back on track, because I do like to go off of my little rabbit trails, but a couple things for my mom. I collect water globes. Um, not so much anymore because I don't really have the space to put any more. So I'm content with what I have. But she had this in her her decorations. And so I did take this and treasure it. It fits perfectly here in my craft room. So it's a good size. But it's of course, it's the reason for this season. It's the manger scene. And um, I will cherish that, Mom. So thank you. And then... We have a family tradition um, that started years and years ago where my mom is like, I like to give you little Christmas things, like whether it's decorations, I, I wear uh, Christmas socks, I wear Christmas earrings. I'm, I'm one of those. I don't think I own an ugly sweater because why would I buy an ugly sweater? I love all the ugly sweaters that people think are ugly, but I think they're cool. <laughs> so anyway, so... You know, when you get those in your stockings or you get things wrapped up in a Christmas gift, what can you do with it? Christmas season is ending. You're going to put it away. You can't really use those things until the next year. So she has developed the December 1 box. And so every year on December 1, she gives us a, a gift. And this is what was part of my December 1 box. There was also some Christmas socks. I should have brought some of those in here, but I didn't. But this is a gnome, so it goes back to the G. So anyway, so just something to think about, especially if you're one that's starting to kind of go through and downsize your Christmas and other holiday stashes. They are 
something to represent you to your kids and your grandkids and so on and so forth. So that is what she's doing. She's gifting her favorite, you know, cherished decorations and gifting those to my children and um, her great grandson. So just an idea, something to kind of pass along from the Wilson family, because that would be my mom. And then I found this when I was out at one of my quick shopping trips, a guide to Star Wars. So we are a Star Wars family. So I found this at the Dollar General. So if you're a Star Wars fan, this is out. Looks like it's on display until February of 2021, if it lasts that long, because I know that there are a lot of uh, Star Wars fans. So anyway, I did grab this guide. So there's some G's for you. So let's move on to our letter H. And look at this, I have a really good list. So obviously H is a big positive letter in my life. I want to pass on to you holiday cheer, bless you with some happiness. Remember to have your heart of the season and the reason for why we celebrate Christmas. You are probably in your home sweet home way more than you ever thought you would be. And humility in that just be gracious and thankful for all that we have and not dwell on this is a very hard time for us and just just hold to who you are and remember those along with that remember those that are are homeless right now there's a lot of homelessness and um, we have that regularly anyway but here we had fires and we never have fires <clears throat> part of me like this like we had in um, late August beginning of September Actually, I guess it was right after Labor Day. Um, anyway, so we had a lot of people that lost their homes just up the highway from me. Very devastating. Um, keep to your to the holiness of um, Christ and uh, Jesus' birth. The Hallmark Channel is a great wholesome channel to go to for great Christmas movies where we're all like, is a Hallmark movie really real? Does anybody have a storyline that goes along with that? I would love to know that because... They all have kind of the same storyline, and we're all like, yeah, that really can't happen, but it makes us feel good in our heart. And then along with that, there's Hulu as well, and that has more variety. So those are, I'm watching Hulu and Netflix, but I don't have Hallmark Channel. So I do see some people that have posted Hallmark Channel movies on uh, YouTube, so I watch those every once in a while. So anyway, there's some suggestions for you. Please share below some H words that you've thought of to help you get through this next week. So here is a holiday mask. So we have to wear our mask out and about. So why don't you put some holiday cheer in it and start wearing some holiday related masks. Thank you, mom. <laughs> My mom made me a ton of seasonal masks. Uh, getting our Christmas cards out, sharing our our hope for other people in our lives, our family and friends. So this is my first received Christmas card from actually my high school best friend. So that was pretty cool to get a holiday card already. And then just your holiday decorations. So just wanted to share that thought. Got these little bows at uh, the Dollar Tree. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with those. Probably cards, maybe some scrapbook layouts. So your holiday decorations, getting those out for the cheeriness of it. And a holder, so <laughs> container holder. And then um, holiday memories. I had purchased this last year, our family Christmas creating meaningful meaningful and memorable Christ Center traditions by Christy Gardiner. And so it just has some Christmas songs, some Christmas recipes, some Christmas crafts, some places to put some journals. And so um, just to kind of remind you that bringing that holiday memories into your family and passing those traditions onto your family and friends, just like seeing these gifts from my mom from her decorations and our December 1 box. So I have hope that I've inspired you for the letter H week. Had a lot more suggestions to share. And I hope that you had a great first week of Advent last week. The, <clears throat> the focus was on hope. And this is the second week of Advent, which is the focus is peace. So I wish you much peace this week. I pray that you will have much holiday cheer. And I hope to see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.